We now move to Chinese companies and stocks with the able assistant of our friend, Melissa Armo, the founder of the stock swoosh. Melissa, welcome back. Uh, this Shanghai Composite Index has been on a downward trend for most of this year. Uh, what does this say, uh, other than the obvious, about Chinese stocks overall? Honestly, I don't like any Chinese stocks to buy today. I'm sure you're probably not going to be happy with me saying that, but I have to call it like I see it. Overall, the index is in a downtrend. Once it broke that 3,000 level, it really started to drop. And if for some reason it would ever get down to that $2,000 level, that would be so that that would be critical. It would just be critical. Uh, you know, one of the Chinese, uh, there's, there's no Chinese stocks that you would get, but one of the Chinese stocks uh, no. that, that's out there that's not actually traded in Shanghai uh, is Alibaba, traded in NYSE. Uh, I mean, uh, we talked about that yesterday, how they're doing all this expansion uh, on the digital Belt and Road in Russia. Uh, what do you make of Alibaba as a, as a buy opportunity, Melissa? I, I don't like it here again. First of all, all tech stocks fell today because there was Facebook and Twitter, and they all testified in Capitol Hill today. So all of these stocks fell because they're all in that same bucket. But before today's drop off in Alibaba, I still didn't like it as a buy because the stock has been falling for the last few days anyways. I'm telling you that the last previous high in Alibaba was 211. The stock is around 164. It's nowhere near the highs. And if you look at the US stock market, it's been making brand new all time highs in the last few days. So compared to the overall market and compared to even the other bucket of stocks, I don't like the way it looks. Even Google, you're seeing all these tech stocks. Some of them are strong and some of them are not. And Alibaba is one of these ones. I would say it's in danger of being in a downtrend. It's not in a downtrend yet, but it's it's in danger of coming into a downtrend. I would wait until the next earnings report for Alibaba, which is we didn't even get into the fall earnings season. But once we do, I wait till they report. Maybe the stock will fix itself then. But as of right now, I would not buy it. Now, you're on a roll, so we probably know your answer here, but I want to go to Alibaba's, one of their rivals, and also a Chinese company, but traded in the U.S., not on NYSE, but on NASDAQ, uh, and that is JD.com. And, and, you know, their CEO, Richard Liu, has had some problems this uh, past weekend. He's arrested, on, uh, accused of rape, my gosh. Uh, uh, he's free, and he, he's roaming around now the world. But uh, what do you think? Same thing, not, not a good thing on JD.com? Well, that stock, again, fell dramatically today, fell dramatically yesterday, and it probably fell on this negative news. But overall, that stock wasn't a buy before the last two days anyways. The previous highs in JD were earlier in the year in January. The stock was over $50 a share. Today was trading around 26 bucks. The stock has lost 50% of its value in the last eight months. That's not good. And this is well before, well before the news that came out in the last few days of, of, of all of this. But I'm telling you, I wouldn't buy that either. That is having problems for whatever reason reason that stock is definitely in a downtrend. It looks lower. It looks lower today. It looks lower overall. Any stock that loses half its value like that is not a good buy. It happened way too quickly. Uh, you know, uh, be before we leave Asia or the Asian companies, Chinese companies, they had this huge, horrible typhoon, uh, worst uh, typhoon in 25 years, uh, Typhoon Jebi, and it's damaged much of the Asian supply chain, uh, it, it appears, uh, you know, on the coast there, uh, but some of the infrastructure, too. Uh, how do you think this might or might not impact sort of the Asian supply chain and therefore companies that are dependent upon transit? Uh, the airport there uh, near Osaka. Saka was closed, uh, so it, it looks like it could be a big deal. What do you think? Well, it is a big deal. Obviously, this is a season for that. It's terrible. I think they reported 11 people died. It's absolutely horrible. Obviously, you have some delays overall. They're probably going to clean it up. If the storm stops or lets up a little bit, they'll, they'll be able to continue. I don't think it's going to have a long-term effect on anything, but obviously, it's a catastrophe that's happening right now, and, and the biggest, most unfortunate thing, obviously, is a loss of lives. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, and we uh, uh, certainly uh, have those folks in our, our, our thoughts and uh, prayers where appropriate. Uh, Melissa, let me ask you in general about, you know, we talk about tech stocks a lot, but you're not into the Chinese, you're not into the Asian stocks, and may maybe I'll test you on the Hang Seng sometime, but, uh, you know, what about U.S. tech stocks? We've talked about them before, but which do you think are really hot right now? I will tell you right now that the, my favorite tech stock, of course, everybody knows it, is Apple. And here's why. If you bought Apple on August 1st, today is only the 5th of September. If you bought Apple on August 1st, it rallied almost every 
day since then. For, from, for the whole entire month of August, if you had bought in on August 1st, you would have been up. The stock had a dramatic move up. And again, like I said, the U.S. market, the, the S&P has hit over brand new all-time highs. Apple is my favorite tech stop, and Apple has a long-standing history of being able to overcome any simple hurdles that they've had. Facebook is one that seems to not be able to overcome some of these hurdles. That's why they're testifying before Congress. Apple's in its own bucket. They have their own technology that's in that tech stock bundle, but I like that separately because, I, 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 I mean, honestly, the stock is so strong. I mean, if you owned Apple, why would you even sell it? It looks like the stock is going to hit up to 250. I think 228 was the previous high it's made in the last few days. I like that stock at least up to 250. I would, you could buy Apple. It's a great time to buy Apple. And, and let me ask you, you know, Amazon has reached this new, you know, trillion dollar threshold of valuation. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of people that look at the, the price increase from, I think, under a grand at the beginning of the year to around 2000 now. Uh, is, it is it too late to, to, to get into Amazon? And you, did the boat already sail? No, the boat didn't sail because analysts are saying that stock's going to go up to $2,500 a share, which is hard to believe, but no, I don't think it's too late, and, and here's why I don't think that's too late. Jeff Bezos has been talking about getting Amazon involved with so many different other things, real estate, selling pharmaceuticals. They, they, Amazon could break into so many other things. Remember, they bought Whole Foods, they're selling all kinds of stuff online. They're, they're going to put their hand into so many different other services that I don't think that Amazon is too late to buy. It's very expensive. It's very expensive for you to even get in it now, but I definitely don't think it's too late because I still think that stock is higher. That's another reason why the market has lifted up too. Amazon's made new highs in the last few days as well. So Amazon and Apple are still good buys, even though they're expensive. I think Amazon is going to dip their toe into many other different things. I Honestly, the, anything that Amazon wants to do, they're going to do. I've, I've said this before. It's a hard, fierce competitor. Uh, Melissa Armo, the founder of the Stock Swoosh. Thank you so much, as always, Melissa. Appreciate your time. Thanks. Have a good day. You too.